Hello and welcome to the Vell YouTube channel. Look at this. So I know, I know you all say watching this. Vell is the one that reviews rustlers. But we've got this one. I know it's I know it's Vell's category, along with Scotch eggs, mince pies. Is mint? No, pork pie. Pork pie, scotch eggs, all that sort of stuff. That's normally Val's bag, but I'm doing this one. It's a plant-based rustler, meatless maverick. And is this full? Is this full vegan, or is this vegetarian? So this is vegetarian. So I don't think this is full vegan. This is vegetarian. So it's vegetarian, not full vegan. But it is a plant-based patty. Maybe the cheese is the bit that's not um, vegan. Let me just see that. You might have to check that. Look, you know what I do? I put that there. Maybe you can pause the screen and decide for yourself whether this is for you with the diet needs that you want or it's not. So this was in Tesco's. I got this in Tesco's, but I have seen this in Morrison. I don't know. 150 a quid. Same sort of price as the normal Rustlers. So it's a classic burger with cheese and our signature sauce right there. I'm going to do back in the microwave and all this take. So this takes a uh, microwave one one minute 30 seconds. Uh, heat. You know what? I don't think I've ever cooked one of these before. Pop bun in the toaster. Heat patty for one minute 30 seconds. Stand for 30 minutes. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. I'll be back in two minutes. I don't know how Val normally does his rustler reviews, but this is uncooked. This is it uncooked. It smells of just nothing really. So that's the patty. Quite a chunky burger there. There's the bun. There's a the sesame seed bun. This is the, the Rustler's special sauce. And it's a bit of cheese. Back in two minutes. Right, so we're back. It's cooked there. Look at that. I've got the special sauce in there. I've got that bit of cheese. Just like that. Hello. Hello. Look at the goodness in that close up. Oh, let's just go for a bite of this maverick. Remember, I'm not the master at rustlers like Bowie's, but. Oh, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Straight away, you can tell. Right, and I'm not giving it a not bad on the burger scale. But on vegan sort of plant-based based burgers, and believe me, I've had a lot. That's not bad. Just going by taste, you can't top Burger King. I know they might cook it on the same grill and all that, and you might jump up and down about it. But if you do a blind taste test, you can't beat Burger King's plant-based burgers, in my opinion. McDonald's ones, initially I really liked it. Nah, not so keen. It's, it's, it's not got the right texture there, so I, I wouldn't really rate McDonald's ones that McPlant. plant. Get it out of there, I don't want it. I've had too many of them recently. Burger King, I had a Burger King one the other day, the vegan one, oh, it's stunning, it's, it's amazing. You've probably seen a few reviews on this channel as well. I've had some ones that I had at Fridge you make at home. They've been pretty good. On that scale now, that's all right, that's not bad, I'm pleased with that. However, as this rustler as a whole, this bread's far too dry. I did toast it. This bread's far too dry. I need a lot more sauce. You need to pack this out. You want to put some lettuce on there. You want to put some mayonnaise in this. That's too dry. All I'm getting is bread. Let's taste this burger on its own. A little bit of cheese there, come for the ride. The burger on its own is nice. I'm giving that as a vegan sort of plant-based burger. The rest of it, no, the bread's too bready, it's too dry. The cheese is doing nothing. It's just like a, it's there for show. You don't taste anything, it just sticks to your teeth. The, the, their special sauce, it's almost like a, almost like a piccalilli or something, some sort of sauce like that. Like they suggest, you need lettuce, you need some tomatoes, and you need some mayonnaise, I would say. And, it, and it, it's not bad for a quid microwave if you're in a rush if you're in trouble it's not bad especially if you're vegetarian or you want plant-based patty overall rustler i think good effort especially on the burger side of it 
maybe the rest of it needs looking at. For more Rustler reviews, I'm sure Val will have one up soon. I think he's got one. The video might have already gone up, but I was with him when he bought one the other day. So yeah, he's got one there coming soon. If it's not already up. Subscribe to the channel, you'll see it. That I'm gonna give, as a plant-based burger, we're going up against a big one from Burger King, which definitely Burger King is the best, believe me. You're entitled to your own opinion, but in my opinion is Burger King's the best. I would give that, just as a plant-based patty, six and a half out of 10. Give it a six and a half out of 10. Whereas the muck plant now, nah, I'd almost give the muck plant a six out of 10. So yeah, I'm saying that is better than the muck plant. Overall, just the patty. Rest of it needs work. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Subscribe if you want to. Bustler, if you want to send some of these out, maybe send one or two, because they do last quite a while. What does that say? You're 24, I've got about 10 day left on that. I think Bustler should sponsor the channel. That would be in his element. I don't think he likes them though, does he? It's been a, it's been a long time since I, I watched one of his videos. And yeah, I don't think he likes them. That's my review on that. We'll see you next time.